Two years have passed after that special birthday from King Pharaoh, where the cupbearer was restored to do his job. Now it is night. King Pharaoh dreams two special dreams. In the morning, when he wakes up, his mind is troubled. He has no idea what these dreams mean. So he sends a message to all the wise men of Egypt. When they arrive, King Pharaoh tells them his dreams, but no one can interpret them for him. Suddenly the cupbearer remembers Joseph, and he says to King Pharaoh, Oh, do you know when I was in prison, I had a dream, and there was a young man from another country, his name was Joseph. He explained my dream, and it happened exactly how he said. Then Pharaoh sends people to the jail to get Joseph. They shave him, they give him new clothes, and then he comes before Pharaoh. Pharaoh says to Joseph, I had a dream, and no one can explain it, but I have heard that you are able to do it. Then Joseph says, No, I cannot do it, but God will give me the wisdom to explain your dreams. Then Pharaoh tells, In my dream I was standing on the bank of the Nile. When out of the river there came up seven cows, fat and nice, and they grazed among the reeds. After them seven other cows came up from the river. I had never seen such ugly cows in all the land of Egypt, so thin. But these thin cows ate up the seven fat cows. But even after they ate them, no one could tell them that they had done so. They looked just as ugly as before. Then I woke up. Then I had another dream. I saw seven heads of grain, full and good, growing on a single stalk. After them, seven other heads sprouted, thin ugly, scorched by the east wind. The thin heads of grain swallowed up the seven good heads. I told this to my wise men, but none of them could explain it to me. Joseph explains to Pharaoh, the dreams are both the same. God is revealing what he is about to do. The seven good cows are seven years, and the seven good heads of grain are seven years. It's one and the same dream. The seven ugly cows that came afterwards are also seven years, and so are the seven worthless heads of grain. They are seven years of famine. It is just as I said already. God has shown what he is about to do. Seven years of great abundance are coming throughout the land of Egypt, but seven years of famine will follow them. Then everyone will forget the years that there was enough food. Everyone will be hungry all over your country. And the reason that the dream is given twice, it means that God firmly has decided to do so. And God always does what he says. That's why it is so important that you know the Bible stories as well, so that you learn who God is and what he expects you to do.